I cannot stand Etsy ads on Google and I am fed up you know I've done videos on this and I'm doing another one because each video each time each time passes more people see this and I'm hoping this reaches local people so that they know better than to look up coin values on Google and look at those ads and think their coins are worth that much money please don't do that and I just want everybody to understand this I'm sharing with you my initial reaction and emotions in this video you know I'm fine you know I just want to share with you what happens to coin dealers how do we respond to things that happen the adversities that happen and that's all this is about I'm not fishing for comments I'm not fishing for people to pat me on the back or anything like that I'm not doing that I'm just sharing I'm sharing you with something I can't change what happened um, there's nothing I can do. I'm going to keep going and I'm going to do what I do because I do the best I can. And I try to make the soundest decisions I can. And I'm fair and I'm honest. I get that. So I'm not fishing here. This is not what this is about. This isn't me trying to, to be, you know, get all this drama going and anything like that. I really want people to stop using Etsy ads. I really want people to look at price guides and sold coin auctions and things like that. That's, that's what my goal really is with this video. To catch people, to hook people in, to watch it so that they will share it and it will see not to what not to do i had an incident yesterday where a gentleman came in the shop and he had a 1907 indian head scent okay this scent was damaged i mean it had been pounded with something hit with something and it was dented i looked at the coin and i told him i said sir i said you would be lucky to get 50 cents a piece out of them i sell them for a dollar i said but damage like this you know, it's basically maybe 50 cents, 25 cents. I don't even know what someone would pay for it because you really can't do a whole lot with it. It needs straightened out. You know, it's damaged. And this is what his response was. Then why is it $10,000? And uh, I was like, oh, whoa, you know, hold on a second. Um, you're looking at an ad where someone's trying to sell this for. And I had to explain to this man that this was not values. I said, you need to scroll down. You need to scroll down. You need to look. And I told him, and he scrolled down, and he found, you know, this other website, which I don't recommend because it was still too high because he had a damaged coin. But he did find other websites when he scrolled down. He said, oh, okay, I, I see that. He said, but well, what about this other one? It says it's rare. So he didn't understand rarity either. So I get maybe it's not just the Etsy ad. But if that Etsy ad wasn't there, he would have come down and been, he would have saw more realistic value, you know, and, you know, I know that there's no fix for this, for everybody. There's always going to be someone thinking their coins are worth more money. But I had another incident a week ago. I had a couple come in here and they had a handful of silver and a Morgan dollar and they had this big old Troy pound. You know, well, silver had just dropped you know, almost well over a dollar an ounce. For, but I offered them the same amount I would have offered any other time. You know, the melt value on it was about 200. I was in at 170 some dollars. And I said, that's what I'd offer you for that. But first I went and told them how much I pay for the Morgan dollar, what I typically pay. It was about an $18 Morgan dollar. Then they had some silver, just some common stuff and some handfuls of other little coins. It wasn't really anything. And I told them what my offer would be on the silver and not the whole lot and then next thing I know he's like well for that I'll just take it home and I thought well okay I mean I that's fine I mean I don't mind it's, you don't want to sell it and you feel like the offer was too low that's fine so this morning I wake up and I've got a bad review on Google from his wife put a one star on there and put not good you know I I am more than willing to show you what things sell for when you come into my coin shop. And this is a shout out to everybody that watches my videos that might be local or anything like that. I'm gonna put this on my website. I'm gonna put this on my Facebook, everywhere. I don't deserve a bad review because I'm trying to tell you what I will pay for your coin, okay? I'm not trying to rip you off. This just is unnecessary because they're seeing these ads for more money online than they're actually selling for. And that's an injustice to any coin shop or any business, okay? I know people are going to say you can't fix stupid, you can't stop this, you can't do that. But that's okay. This is my channel. I'm doing this video because, you know, I, I'm very upset about this because I really try hard to educate people and to help people out. 
And I know that every business get bad reviews. I know that. I already had one for someone said we hung up on them. We were having phone trouble that day. They had called two or three times and it kept clicking off. So they give us a bad review. I get that. That's fine. You know, I messed up a couple orders, you know, and, and maybe put the wrong coin in. Someone put up that review and giving you less than five stars. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. I get that kind of stuff. Not that that happened, but I would understand that kind of a review. But when, when someone is wrong about something and they do it, that that's really bothering me because I try to educate when people walk into my shop. You know, I was with another customer at the time, you know, and they, I was buying their coins off of them, you know, so it all comes into play. You know, business isn't easy to do things in. You know, and it just kind of sets the tone. You know, you don't want to get up on the wrong side of the bed. You know, I, I get it. You know, and I'll be fine. I'll be just fine. <laughs> I'll survive it. But anyways, thanks for watching my video. And please share this video. I don't know how to get this out. This video needs to go a million. It needs to get a million views so that people will stop looking at Etsy ads. And they'll scroll on down past those and actually look at coin values that, that, or the coin price guides. So anyways, guys. Just have a great day.